Hello friends, today's episode of Netlinked is a very, very special one. An episode where we look to the past, but also to the future. And if you don't know what I mean, you will. But first, the intro. Suddenly, a wild Intel appeared and unveiled eight new processors from both the Skylake and Broadwell architecture families. There's a number of new mobile chips, but perhaps the most interesting are the two new Skylake desktop CPUs, the dual-core Core i3-6098P and the quad-core Core i5-6402P. What's that P on the end all about? Well, that's what she said. Go have a shower. Well, previously, the P suffix has been used to indicate a chip that lacked integrated graphics. So if you're going to buy a discrete GPU anyway, it might make sense to spend less money on a part without any included graphics. But then again, the i3 is the same price as the existing model that has integrated graphics. So, uh, Intel, I'm going to need to have a word with you about the whole pricing thing. Samsung also announced a bunch of new stuff ahead of CES. One of them is uh, Welt which is a smart belt, which I would have personally called smelt. But then it'd have been like, you know, you'd be like, where to buy one? And people would be like, well, if you smelt it, then you dealt it. So it's like, well, hold on a second. So someone farted. So now I'm a dealer for, anyway. Um, basically what it does is it tracks how much time you spend sitting down, what you eat, and it tracks your waistline. Sounds a little invasive. Well, at least it's not a, uh, at least it's not a smart, like, you know, oh. well, anyway. Another one of the things they announced is Rink, a hand motion controller for games and VR headsets. Sounds like it's destined to be used with Gear VR. Tip Talk is a watch strap that can connect to the smart watches that are out there and expand their functionality. And Samsung has also revealed a lineup of new 900X series Ultrabooks with Skylake processors and flat folding screens. And one comes in pink, yay! So we'll have to wait until CES to get a closer look. And Asus has unveiled the Z170 ROG Maximus 8 Formula motherboard. Alongside customizable RGB LED lighting and some pretty badass looking armor, the board has a built-in water cooling block for the model MOSFETs thanks to a partnership with EK Waterblocks. Yes, ASUS finally figured it out and stopped putting on fixed fitting ones and aluminum ones and just partnered with a company that actually knows how to make water blocks. So you can connect it directly to your custom loop, but it also supports air cooling if you're into that sort of thing. And it has a big old back plate, you know, how I like them. Quick bits, ASRock has joined the Xeon Gaming Party with the release of a new gaming focused motherboard using Intel's C232 chipset. Apple is being hit with a class action lawsuit from users that are disgruntled over iOS 9's poor performance on their older iPhones. I think we all know the obvious answer to that though. Just run out and buy a new iPhone, which no, this isn't an iPhone, don't worry about it. Disney built a drone with four wheels and two rotors that can drive up walls. So that'll be super useful to someone. And Oculus founder Paul Merlucky revealed on Reddit that the consumer version of the Rift will have a built-in DAC and AMP for the VR headset's built-in headphones. Is that why the price got jacked up? Is that why huh? Is it? Speaking of VR, great news! Razer's open source VR project has gotten 70 new partners, bringing the total number of supporters to 300, making it the largest open source VR ecosystem in the industry. Man, all those other open source VR ecosystems are so jelly right now. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the video description. So, you're smart, you're loyal, you're grateful. I appreciate that. And I'm supposed to do the voice, but come on. I appreciate that. I think we all know that I wasn't going to be able to hit that pitch. You're smart. In case you didn't know, we give a ton of stuff away here at NCIX, particularly if you're subscribed to the newsletter, which you can do in the video description. <laughs> Each month, there's a new prize, and this month, we teamed up with Kingston and HyperX to give away four prize packs, each with a HyperX Cloud 2 Pro Gaming headset, a HyperX Fury 240GB SSD, and a Kingston Mobileite Wireless G2 Mobile Companion. 
It's like a power bank and a wireless hotspot combined. I actually reviewed it over on my channel that you can check out if they're not too cool to link to my videos and their videos over here on the NCIXCOM channel. All you gotta do is subscribe to the newsletter to enter. Click here for the details on that. And don't forget, if you subscribe and comment on any video from this month, you're also entered to win our Fans with Benefits prize. Yeah, it's full of which this month is a Corsair RM1000X power supply. Who diggity? So, all right, guys, that's pretty much it for this episode. And yes, that is pretty much it for me on Netlinked. This will be my last episode of Netlinked. There's still going to be some tech tips episodes kind of trickling out in the next few weeks, but this is pretty much it. And I think it's time we looked back on all the good times here at NCIX and drop a dislike on this video for old time's oh. sake. Hi, welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. My name is Linus Sebastian, and today we'll be looking at the Sunbeam Tech Tunic Tower. Hi, welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today we'll be covering the Core i7 CPU and X58 motherboard. Today we have our brand new Tech Tips set. We've got our completely new background. Guys, we're setting up at the NCIX Tech Fair. We're just doing like some last minute preparation before everything gets started. You can see the stage is set up. We're in Aberdeen Center here. And it is going to be an in-depth look at Intel Smart Response or SRT technology. Everywhere. So we're using TriDef 3D and TriDef 3D has a 14 day free, free trial. Free trial, see yeah, I've got threes on my mind. Now. This week's episode in a completely new studio space because the old one is gone. So we have this one now. Happy New Year everyone. Now let's all celebrate by giving you some GIF material. My little dance. Remember guys, when it comes to 4K, the K stands for cool. Really? Like, that's, seriously, that's in there. Anyway. Keys' intro is actually kind of funny today. <laughs> that's unusual. Today, I'm going to take you on a magic carpet ride and show you a whole new world of tech news. It's going to be shining, shimmering, and splendid. I mean, that's basically pulled right from the trailer. Plagiarism! Come on, Microsoft. You need Google to research your security for you? And apparently, you're going to come into... Oh, snap. <laughs> you want some tech news right now? <laughs> you think you've seen tech news? You ain't seen nothing until you see me do tech news with my shirt off doing a handstand. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, I fell. My phone fell. Wow. Look at this dude. I did not think he would actually do that. I was more worried about That's impressive, stuff. though. Yeah, you know. that's right. Peace out. <laughs> so there you go, guys. It's been great. In 2000, I don't even remember what year it was. Seven, I think. I uploaded my first ever YouTube video to NCIX Tech Tips and I am finally leaving the channel, fortunately, in very, very capable hands. You guys all hated them at first and uh, I hated them a little bit too, but I think they've grown on us all and Keys and Jack and the rest of the team over here will be handling things from now on, so adios, auf Wiedersehen. I don't know how to say that with a German accent, so thank you. Bye guys, and don't forget to subscribe and uh, other videos and social and all that good stuff. And you're still, you can go subscribe to Lion's Tech Tips. Oh yeah, and you, you can subscribe to me if you haven't had enough of my crap by this point. Okay, perfect. I am heading out forever. Oh. Gentlemen. You're gonna keep all this. Oh. End of an era. An era. Minus no darkness. <laughs> darkness and never and, on and pain. I was gonna do the handshake thing, but I guess hugs are good too. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs>